In addition to assignments, which are things students send you to grade, Canvas lets you make quizzes, which it can partially or completely score for you. In this module for week two, we're going to add a quiz, a new quiz. We'll call it quiz number one. Add the item, select it, and edit it. The first thing you want to do is enter the quiz details. Let's start with instructions. They can be as simple as, please answer these questions. Or they can be as complex as you need. This is going to be a graded quiz. There are other options, such as practice quizzes or surveys, which can be graded and ungraded. Let's set a time limit of 30 minutes for this quiz. And we'll let students see the correct answers, but not until after the date of availability of the quiz is over. That will be on May 20th at 4 o'clock, so we'll set that to 4.05 p.m. We're assigning it to everyone in the class. The due date will be May 20th at 4 o'clock p.m. And it'll be available from May 18th until May 20th at 4 o'clock p.m. While we could start adding questions right now, it's better to save the work that we've done so that we don't lose any of this information. Click Edit again, and select the Questions tab. Add a new question. First, set the question name. You can either name it something like question number one, or you can name it by its topic. This question will be about attitudes, so that's what I'll name it. The question name is visible to instructors, but not the students. This will be a true-false question, and I'll select that from the menu. Now, enter the text of the question. The answer to this question happens to be true, and you'll notice that the word true is in green. If the answer had been false, you would move down to false and click the arrow pointing to that word. Then false would be the correct answer. Let's switch it back to true the correct answer. And most important, we need to update the question. If you don't update the question, your work won't be stored when you save the quiz. Our next question is going to be about the definition of a value. This one's going to be a multiple choice question. And here's the question. Now we put in the choices. The first choice is belief. The second possible answer is value. And we're going to need a third choice. We'll add another answer. And attitude is our third choice. Select the arrow pointing to the correct answer, value. And there's one more thing we can do here. These boxes that you see underneath the answers allow you to enter comments when students choose a particular answer. Let's add comments for the wrong answers. If the student answers belief, 
we'll tell them remember to click done when you've entered your comment and for the other wrong answer attitude and again click done these boxes here are for the correct answer any incorrect answer and any answer at all canvas calls them general comments let's update that question I could add more questions of different types, but that would make this video a bit longer than I'd like. I'll save the quiz and continue with a few more question types in the next video.